All right, good afternoon. Uh, I'm looking forward to your performance of 77 number one. And I think we will start with the second movement, right? Okay, thank you very much. Very good, very nice sound. Uh, you know the word which comes to my mind when I listen to the performance of this is control. And so, so I think, uh, of course, to be controlled has m m some advantages because we have the tendency, you know, to be a little bit sloppy or not really, uh, sometimes not very focused. So that's not the case with you. You are completely focused. But, but I am afraid, I have the feeling that, that, you know, Haydn was such an open-minded person and he was really inventing so many things. And, you know, when he was composing, he was, he was so full of new ideas, new, making kinds of musical, musical jokes, you know, having all those kinds of rhetoric elements in his music. And, and uh, so I think you, you are uh, too much afraid of making mistakes. And, and I think that's the most important thing when we go on stage, when we perform, not just that we like what we do, that we enjoy what we do, but also that the audiences, so that they have the, the feeling they can see that we like what we do. And, and, and sometimes, or at, at that stage of, of preparation, I, I, I'm sure you prepared it very well and, and you try to do all small things and you know, being together and uh, intonation, good plan and whatever. But Actually, the message of the music, I'm a little bit searching for, you know. And I think that's a step you have to do just to, to open up and really uh, try to give something to the listener, not just doing this for you, you know, somehow. I have, I have the feeling, of course, you try hard and you try to do, do your best to, to uh, make this piece working. But I think you are trying too hard, maybe, you know. I think now you should try to lean back a little bit more and, 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 and enjoy. And also what I'm missing a little bit, I mean, is uh, the conversation within the group, you know. Uh, so so you, this kind of a, a, a musical talk, you know, so, 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 I mean, the quotation of Goethe, we forget now and we don't mention it anymore, but, but, uh, but, uh, it's, but it's, it's completely true, you know, this kind of talk. And, and so uh, it, it's, it's, it's also group dynamics. That means if somebody is just not taking part in a, in a talk, he cannot be part of a decision, you know. So, so therefore, it's very important to always know what the others want to say and to, 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 to react to their statements, to their, to their messages. And then, of course, then we, we, we get the discussion and then we get something, as a result, we get something which is very much alive, you know, not, not a structure which is dead and we do it always the same. It's, you know, this is, music is always living, it's a process, it's not, uh, uh, and it's never ready. In, in many places, uh, when we play music uh, and when we play our instrument, I think it's very important that we really feel in our body the intensity of the music. It's like with dance, you know. I mean, I'm not a very good dancer, so I, more theoretically what I'm talking about. But, <laughs> but, no, but if, you know, if you turn, so you have a certain kind of pulse, right? 
so and you cannot change the path in the middle like one because then you will you know fall I don't know and especially when you have a partner you know <laughs> if you uh, if you are uh, if you are uh, uh, losing the drive the pulse of course then it's not working so I think we have a main pulse in the music but in between it's also when I turn you know and when I turn the first energy is very strong and then at the end it's like reacting to the first turn. So the energy is strong at the beginning, and then it's relaxed. And then again, a strong, a strong turn, and again, relaxation. And I think this relaxation in terms of sound, we need to get in, into your playing. So what we should try to do, to open up a little bit this kind of brain work. And we need to go a little bit into body work. Um, and I think a very kind of common body working person in our musical life is a conductor, right? Because, you know, we have so many different kinds of conductors. But, but usually the conductors try, of course, to motivate, to create the the character in the music and deliver it to the orchestras, you know, to motivate the orchestra. Because usually, it depends, of course, on the piece, but usually the orchestras are very well, the, the top orchestras are very well uh, trained, and so they, they could play without conductors. Therefore, I would tr try out something. I would like you to conduct. Could you conduct now? Because we have to try out how it feels, you know, this is a thing, how to handle, how, yeah, how, to, how to handle the bow. You know? Yes, good, good. So, so the next time. So I think now you, you warmed up somehow. <laughs> and could you try now, you know, that you really show us what kind of energy we have to, to use, like... La. So get in contact with us, you know? Maybe, but be careful of the microphones, but, so maybe come one step closer, like, and... La, da, di. So really, you have to to uh, motivate and to 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 start this thing. thing. That's, that's very good. So, so you're very talented. talented. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think, you know, I think this shows how we play. How much we can kind of make a, a gesture, how clear we can make a gesture, or how bad we feel to make big 
motions. You know what I mean? Because if you're not used, it's like, it's like when I always talk very soft, you know, because I'm this kind of introverted person. So I do I have very big problems to speak loud because I say, oh, I'm too loud, you know. And that's the same when we make music, you know. We have to, as soon as we perform, or let's say as soon as we play music, so we should be really convinced what we do at the moment, you know. Not second thoughts, oh, I am afraid of doing, because uh, of course, after you did something, you present something, you can uh, speak about, you can get comments on this, feedback on this. But as soon as you play, as you perform, you have to have the feeling that's my statement. And to make a statement, whatever it is in life, you know, also personally, you know. So we should, uh, you know, we should be, uh, we have, should have the courage to say what we think is our opinion and not being careful not to put harm to, to anybody, you know, to be afraid to, to be always diplomatic. Of course, diplomacy is very important, but on the other hand, it's very important that the other person, uh, that the other person knows what you think, what your opinion is, you know. So therefore, try to make a statement, okay? So the last thing before we continue to work, to work in, the, in the movement, I would like to you to find a text for this. Because, as we know, music, language, speaking, rhetoric, so there is a, a strong context to the to, to text. So, but, but I, I will help you a little bit. You know, there's maybe so that you understand a little bit more clear what I mean. So if we, find, if we would like to find a text which uh, has uh, the context to the phrasing, that would be, might be, that might be like, life is so beautiful. <laughs> I, all, I, I want to think forever. <laughs> So this this fits to the to the to the to the to the theme, right? So when we play this, so we should try to remember the words, and then we will see what happens. So so could you could you try to sing with me because the the the, the start and then we play, okay? Life is so pure. I want to think forever once again and life is so beautiful I want to think all the time <laughs> Yeah, okay, so now you, you, you remember the text, and could you try now to play this? Play the text. And don't look to the music, I mean, you know what it is. Yes, very good. So now it was much more natural than when you played it for the, for the first time. Because what is the same like speaking is that we relax, for example, the first note. So that's the preparation work. Now we continue. <laughs> so last time, do the same. 
try to relax after the start of the plumbo, not of course making a demon, just relax the bow a little bit. 